All right, guys, uh, today we have a 2012 MacBook Pro. Um, if we go to turn this on, we got three beeps in a row. And you look down here and you'll see the, there it goes, flashing light. So the three beeps in a row is going to point to a memory issue. So we got some bad RAM. All you're going to need to fix this is just a smaller Phillips head screwdriver and some new RAM. So this is the RAM that I picked up, uh, Time Tech. I've never used it before, but it was on Amazon, pretty affordable. Um, this is an 8 gigabyte uh, pair of DDR3 L1600. Um, I'll link it in the description, but uh, if you have a memory issue, do yourself a favor and just replace the memory. Um, I've seen a lot of other videos on YouTube, people will just reseat the memory. Um, it's not likely the slot on the motherboard that's bad, it's the memory. And reseating it may temporarily fix it, but long term, if your laptop is worth repairing, go ahead and spend the money and get you some new memory. Otherwise, you have a couple of options, basically. You can um, gimp buy using the memory you have and you're going to run into this problem again. Or you can go buy a new laptop, which is a lot more expensive than spending $60, which is what I paid for this. So $60 should get us back up and running. So go ahead and show you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to unplug the power. We'll go ahead and hold the power button down until everything turns off. Okay, close it down, and basically from here, we're just going to remove all of the screws right here. Typically, I'll keep the face of the, the front end of the MacBook Pro facing me. So when I take these little screws out, you can kind of set them down on the table in the order that you took them off, if you can't remember which order they go in. That way, it's easy enough to put them right back into the right slot. Um, basically, all of the screws on the front and the sides are the same. The only screws that are gonna change are gonna be some on the back side of, by the hinges. So here's one of the longer ones. I'm trying to see if you can make that out. All right, so see in the right corner, you've got a far a longer screw than all the rest of the screws. The rest of them so far have been the same. Okay, here's another longer screw. And this should be the last of the longer screws. They're all identical. Those three in the right, this one here, one, two, three, are all your long ones. The rest of these should all be small. So again, if you don't want to lay them out in order like I did, it's just an easy visual to remember where they're at. But if not, the three in the back corner, the back right corner, are going to be the three long ones. So from here, you'll see a little ridge right here for your finger. You can go ahead and just pry that up. There you go. And you have the bottom of the case removed. Just set that aside. And inside of the MacBook, here's our RAM. We've got one on top and then two right beneath it. Or one right beneath it. So two stacked right on top of each other. If you take your fingers right here, you just press out and that first one will slide up and you pull it straight out. Okay, and the same, we're gonna stick our fingers down in here and eject that one. This one's a little bit more complicated to get out just because of the angle that it's at. Okay, there's that one. Go ahead and take our new RAM. We're gonna open that up. These are identical, so it doesn't matter which one goes where. 
okay? Four gigabytes each stick. Um, if you look closely at the DIMM slots, you're gonna see that it has a longer edge and then a shorter edge here. This is the way that it's gonna go straight in at a 45 degree angle here. You're not gonna force anything in. Okay, that's in there, and then we're just gonna push down, straight down this way, till you feel it just click right into place, very easily. Okay, same thing on our next one. We're gonna go in at that 45 degree angle, push in that way, and then we're gonna push down this way. Okay? Okay, so while you have this open, it's a good idea if you have any uh, canned air, compressed air, uh, to go ahead and just clean out your fan. We're gonna just blow this around, basically. I'm just trying to remove any kind of loose debris that may be able to get in there. Um, you know, it's not a bad idea even to blow out the dim slots. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and place the cover back on. And again, before we button that back up, we're just gonna make sure this will boot up okay. Okay, so as you can see now, it is turning on. We're not getting the beep code. And that's a good thing, all right. And then we're at our login screen, so we're gonna go ahead and shut down. And we're gonna button it up. So, same way we took it apart, we're gonna go ahead and flip this back over. Okay, before you go putting your screws back in, just make sure that this is um, fitted right. It should fit flush. You shouldn't have any raised corners or anything like that, okay? And basically you can pop these long ones, these long screws, the three in the right, you can basically slide them down in because they're so tall. And then you can just go ahead and Screw them on down. These shorter screws, what I tend to like to do is place them in my into the screwdriver tip like this and hold it with my finger and then take it and place it down into the screw slot it's the best way that I've found to put these screws in without them getting jostled all over the place because they are pretty small and if they they're, they're hard to just drop into the screw hole and screw in without them bouncing all over the place. And trust me, when they fall onto a carpet or even to a tile, they're gonna bounce and roll and basically go anywhere other than where you want them to, so. Okay, so before we go ahead and boot it up one more time, basically like I said, just take your finger, rub around, make sure that the screw heads are not sticking up whatsoever. If they got cross-threaded, 
they won't go all the way down in the right way. So that feels good. I'm gonna flip the MacBook Pro over. I'll turn it on again. And as you can see, no more beep code. And we should get our Apple logo and then our login screen here in a moment. So there we go. We are good to go. So again, I'll link uh, this this memory down in the description. This is for your 2012 MacBook Pro. If you have a different model of MacBook Pro, like a different year, you may be into some different memory. But uh, another trick you can do here is if you look on the bottom of your MacBook Pro, in this area, you're gonna see a serial number in there. I'm not gonna zoom in on this one, but you should see a serial number there. And if you Google that serial number, you should be able to pull up an Apple website and that will pull up all of the specs for your laptop and it'll show, it'll tell you basically you have DDR3 and what speed and all that stuff and what it's capable of holding. So that's what I did for this one. So it's DDR3. Uh, th this is actually a two gigabyte stick here that I took out and a two gigabyte stick here. So this MacBook Pro only came with four gigs of RAM and we actually upgraded it to eight gigs. So maybe the user will end up actually noticing a little bit better performance boost out of it. So um, if this video helped you, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.